Hi everyone, welcome back to the Dojo Academy and welcome back to Introduction to Programming using Java. So I did some changes here. I uh, just copied the whole description that we had in the Visual Studio Code and I added here as the kind of documentation for us. And then this code now is on GitHub. So GitHub is where we usually version our code. Uh, it's free. And if you want to access, just go to github.com. I know it's pretty small slash devdojo academy so if you search for the repos that is introduction program in java you can click here and you will see that the first one does not have anything but we are storing in different branches so up to video 12 it will be in one branch but then from now on each video will have its own branch and the reason for that is because sometimes you download one branch and you have all the exercises you have all the content and if you cannot hold the temptation you are going to check things before they even happen so just download branch by branch and then you will be following video by video so you can just select for example video 1 to 12 and then you can click here on get code and you can download zip or what which I actually advise you is to learn how to use github and clone this repo in your computer okay so now that we know Let's do another exercise because we have to press a lot of variables. This is one of the things that we are going to use all the time. So the second uh, exercise is also pretty simple. We have to create a class called salary tax percentage calculator. Just looking at the class name, you kind of understand what needs to be done. So basically we have to create one variable that will store the salary value. The second variable is going to store the percentage. So for example, 30%. And then uh, we would like the third variable to store the amount. So basically, basically, if you want to give a salary and then you have 30%, what's the the value that this 30% represents of that salary? And then we have to print the amount in the console. Okay, so let's first do the same here. Let's copy the name of the class and then I will copy the whole comment. We have a class. So let's just do a little bit different here. Let's create it here exercise then it will be everything organized and we will know for example this is just because i have git now i won't ask again i will just start adding automatically so we can have all the exercises kind of together in future videos i'm going to explain how we can organize the code a little bit better than what we have today so i'll just do the same here and we already know that this class is exercise so i will copy this and I'll add it here. So same thing, just pause, try to do yourself, try to Google, and even if you are struggling for like 30 minutes, don't give up. Uh, because sometimes as developers, we are going to face a problem for maybe even days. We know that we have to start with a main method. So now we are ready to start our exercise. So the first thing is to create a variable that can store the salary. So we already know that we can use either double or float. So we can use float here and we can give the name salary to this variable. And remember, if you give, for example, uh, for 5,450 and 89 cents, this is going to give you a completion error. Why? Because literal these decimal point values are considered double. So we have to say, hey, this is a float. Now we have to create another variable. So the second variable should store the tax percentage. So let's add here. Well, probably it's going to be a float as well, but I'm going to show you two possible ways to do this exercise. Um, tax percentage. So if you add tax percentage, are you expecting the tax? For example, we can say, hey, this is 30%. Or we can give, we can do the math right here. So we can add like 30. We don't need this actually. And then this will be the same as adding 0 0.3. So in some uh, languages, the decimal is actually used as comma. For example, for Portuguese Brazilian, the decimal point is not the point, is the comma. But for the software development, it will always be dot. But then the way you display to the user might change. 
So we see that in the, the Java one for all. Okay, so there, there is these two options. You can either have the, the value directly, like the, the whole, or you can have like this. So let's have it like this because we're seeing text percentage. So we already know the value. And then we have to create a third variable to store the, the amount. Basically, float um, tax amount from salary, if you want to be very specific. And we know how to do it from the previous exercise. Basically, I have my salary, and then we can use it here, multiplied by the tax percentage. Now, if we do replace the values, it will be like this value, and then multiplied by this one. So let's see how it looks like. Salt, and then, since you can see here it's gray, we need to use it. Let's just have tax amount from salary. So Control Shift F10, and we have here the tax that we technically would have to pay if it was uh, thirty percent. But if it's like ten percent, Control Shift F10, we have here five hundred forty-five. So this is one way of doing this. What would be another way? Another way is doing a little bit of math. So for example, we would like to store here 30. And then you ask, hey, we know why is 30 not giving you like an exception, but if you add 30.0, you get this uh, compilation error. Well, remember that I said, every time you write decimal numbers in your code, it's considered double. And every time you write a whole number, it's considered integer. So in this case, if we go back here to our Java data types, you see that integer is four bytes and float is also four bytes. It means that whatever you put on an integer, you can also store in the float space. That's why you don't get any exception. But the moment you add one point something, dot something, then you are going to be using double unless you use F to tell, hey, this is actually a float. Uh, for integer, the, there is no option to use like the i. Okay. Now we have here. If we do this math, it's going to be wrong, and we have to do a little math. So the the same math you do in your real life, it works here as well. So we have like uh, this star for multiplication plus to sum minus to uh, the subtract values, and to do division is slash okay but what we need to do here is basically do a little math for the text percentage we can use parentheses technically we don't have to because of the priorities from the math laws but i'm going to use it to make it better visualized so text percentage and then divided by 100 so first the computer will do the math for this part and then it will then do the math for this part. So this is equivalent to have something like this. And as you can see, the rainbow brackets, they start being very useful right now. Okay, so we don't need, uh, but let's keep this one, Control alt l to have our code formatted. As you can see, it's better visualized. And now Control shift f 10 We have here the same value as we had before, or here. So it's up to you how you are going to achieve. So technically both ways are right. Uh, it's up to you. There is no like wrong answer unless there is someone actually asking you to uh, save the whole number and not do the math right now because maybe they want to do the math uh, somehow later. So this is it. Just check uh, the branch video 13 if you want to check the results. So I hope you enjoyed. See you in the next video. Bye bye.